how you doing everybody this is a beautiful idea uh, not for me I want to continue the a series that we started I know it was a while ago I apologize um, that there uh, you know it's a huge gap but now we're gonna continue and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna be strong in it and go deeper into especially a happy Chodesh Shvat this is the month of the trees um, the, the Rosh Chodesh of trees the new year of trees and we know a man is compared to a tree as well in our, in our scriptures. And, uh, you know, we're trying to grow. We're trying to grow daily. We're trying to, we're trying to um, you know, the Rabbi Nachman writes about, about the grasses of the field that they're constantly praising Hashem. Um, and, they're, you know, so they're connected to, they basically have their connection line. They're constantly growing because they're connected to Hashem. They're praising Hashem. They have a recognition of God. So when we have that recognition of God also, we're, uh, we're constantly growing. We're always aware of God's presence and also, uh, um, you know, that we're together with Him in, 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 uh, in, that, in, that, in those moments. So let's start it off, okay? Last time we finished off um, with some beautiful, beautiful things. Um, speaking about, uh, speaking about, um, what do you call it? Um, that people are confused that we need to be able to, we need to know, everybody needs to know that the main thing is to make sure that you understand that you can always choose, you can always make a choice to do what you want to do and to make sure also you don't have to do what you don't want to do. And that's to make it clear in your head. I don't have to do whatever I don't want to do and I have to do and I can't, sorry, and I'm able to do whatever I want to do. We mean that in a positive way. If you want to make good choices for yourself, then do it. If not, then not. That's simple. So, so basically, it says over here. We're gonna. St- we're gonna, sorry about that. <laughs> we're gonna start off the. We're gonna start off the book um, from the beginning. Okay, uh, bear with me. It says a person who wishes to return, ma- meaning do teshuva, repent, to God, must be knowledgeable in God's law. Now it's going to bring down the main points of what God's law is. That is to say that a person must have the skill to travel along the path to God. Right? You need to you, you, you want to go to you want to go to you want to go to Florida, you live in New York. You need to know the path to go from Florida to New York to Florida. You want to go to God, you want to be able to return to God. You have to find what is the path. Okay? You have to be able to travel the path, your path to God. Everybody has a personal path. Okay, um, also that's why halacha, halacha, which is the laws, we, we call halachot, the laws uh, that, that Jewish people have to follow. Sorry about the noise, waiting for a second. <laughs> um, the laws that Jewish people have to follow are called halachot, and they're coming from the lashon, from the language of halacha, which means to walk, to go. How does a person connect to God? To, to go on his paths, to follow God, to go on his path. Then nothing in the world will cause a person to fall or distance from be, or distance that person from God, whether the person rises or descends in God's service or on the paths that they're following God. Okay, so whether you, whether you get held back for some other reason or whether whether you you're able to 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 go through uh, points of your destination successfully very easily, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you're on the path to God. Regardless of what happens, you should remain strong and follow the guidance of King David as it says in Tehillim 139, If I ascend to heaven, there you are, God. And if I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. A person, even in the lowest pit of hell, that person can draw themselves closer to God, for even in there, God can be found, even in hell. This is the meaning of the words of the Tehillim, If I make my bed in hell, behold, here you are. There you are. One who wishes to return to God, to do tshuva, to repent, needs two types, these two types of skill, needs two types of skill in the law. They must be skilled in running, which is the skill to when you're rising, when you're going, when you're, when you're successfully um, accomplishing your goals, and skilled in returning. When you're falling, how to return back to, how to come to your senses, how to be sane, and, and, and so to speak, fall, because it, it's the, basically the cycle of the heart. The heartbeat going up and down. You have to know if you're alive, you're going up and down. It's natural. It's healthy. You must be skilled in the ways of going up and down, of running and returning, 
of accomplishing your goals and knowing how to fall also. Just like a martial artist, person who gets kicked, they need to know how to fall. If they don't, they can hurt their back. If they know how to fall, they're not hurt, they don't hurt their back. So we have to know how to fall properly. As, just as well as knowing how to accept and how to deal with the times being success- successful. These two concepts, sorry about that guys, give me one second. These two concepts that we're talking about, Uh, underlie the words of the Tehillim. The skill in running is necessary at the moment of the ascent to heaven. Once I, when I ascend to heaven, meaning when I'm, when I feel so spiritually high and so wonderful, it's all the kosher, holy ways, beautiful ways. Okay. Um, so, so, um, I need to know how to be able to find Hashem, how to be with Hashem when I'm, when I'm, when I'm ascending to such heights, the skill in returning is required if I make my bed in hell. When I go down, when, I, when a person feels like they're in the worst place, okay? Now, a person who wants to return to God must gird their loins, must be strong and strengthen themselves in the ways of God at all times. If the person climbs higher in, the, in their quests, if I ascend to heaven, then there you are. There you are, Hashem, you're in heaven. And if a person experiences a descent, if I make my bed in hell, like King David says, he will, stand, he will still find God. Here you are. God's right there. This means that if on the one hand, a person is worthy of achieving ascent to a certain level, whether it is a great or small, it doesn't matter, the person should not stand still on this level. They should not content themselves with that level. Okay, so, so I was able to accomplish my goal. Wonderful, be happy, move on, grow. Don't stop. Be infinity, be like God. That's how you be like God. Keep growing, don't stop. Be happy and then move forward. The skill here is to know and believe that the person must advance further and further. This is the idea of the skill in running. Know how to run and not stop. When, when there are times, my rabbi, my rabbi, Rav Nassim Maimon said uh, that a person want it, if a person want, has a good day, don't make it a 100% day. Make it a 300% day. Keep going. Don't stop. Because when the days are hard, you, you can't, it's very difficult. So sometimes you cannot account for those times. And therefore, you have to make it a 300% day when you, have, when you have the day that are positive, when the days are good for you. Okay? And also, we're going to get to the, the other aspect, when the days are hard. Okay? On the other hand, even if a person should fall, God forbid, then regardless of the place to which the person has fallen, even if it be the lowest pit of hell that a person feels, I'm in hell, they should never give up hope in any way. Whatever comes upon them, they must search out and entreat Hashem and remain strong in whatever way they person can, whatever position they're in. Even in the lowest pit of hell that they feel that they're in, God is to be found there. There too a person must be able to attach themselves to God. For this, is, for this, a person must have skill in returning. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. Meaning when a person's falling, when a person's going down, they feel like their things are getting harder or no more motivation. How do you, how do you deal with that situation? How do you stay sane? And keep going and until the ten, next time you're going to ascend. Also to, to learn to be able to appreciate the times that you fall. How to look at it more positively. Because uh, it's, it's all upon your outlook. And it's, so, basically, uh, so basically we're talking about here um, the, the final paragraph as well. Okay? And it says here, now it is possible to, to, return, or to return to God only by acquiring skill in these two ways. It certainly requires great skill and merit to know that at all times we must strive and toil in the service of God. We must yearn at every moment to reach the next higher level. A person must let nothing throw them down, regardless of their condition. They should, not, they should never come to look down upon themselves in any way. Whether they achieve the, when they achieve these two skills, they will be able to travel the path of return to God. The hand of God will be stretched out to receive their tshuva, their repentance, and their returning. They will be worthy of finding the glory of God, and man will be returned to the throne. Happy is the man who is worthy of this, based on the Kutim Maran Lesson 6, Part 1. So basically, um, beautiful understanding. It says, last thing, it says, man will be returned to the throne. <coughs> Meaning referring to uh, when the Jewish people which are human, we're, you know, we're all, all, all goyim, we're all goyim, uh, we're all, we're all nations, no, nations are, the nations are called, na- we're all nations, we're all part of the nations of the world, 
and specifically the Jewish people, that nation, a part of the world, has a king that is recognized by God that is able to sit on the throne and he's able to be a true king by God. Okay, that's Melech HaMashiach we're waiting for, the true king that we're waiting for, okay, to reveal himself. And he will be able to carry out judgments of God. He is so concerned about what God wants. That's why he's called Melech HaMashiach, because he will be able to restore um, the paths of God for everyone, for uh, throughout the world. That not only that they should be, in, they that not that they should be enforced to do it. That they're gonna want to do it. They're gonna see. People will see. There is no other way in life. And not only that, it helps you have an even keel in life. Imagine going through the highest highs and the lowest lows, and be able to be control yourself. Okay, and not be full of yourself, and also not look down on yourself. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. So that, those are the two big parts. Um, we're going to continue um, next time. Hope everybody found encouragement in, in this uh, in this part that we're discussing. And uh, so, just to be clear, uh, we're talking about running and returning, basically going up and down in the service of God, um, where a person feel feels like they're in heaven and the holiest places, and the person feels like they're in the lowest pit of hell, the worst place in the world. In, you know, inside ourselves, we feel like. We're going through the crazy situations in life. We need to know God is in both places. And when we can find God in both of those places, we'll talk about a little bit more what that means also as well. Because on a, on a basic level, it means, are you able to find your salvation within that situation? Do you know how it is, what you need to do to be sane, to be patient in that situation? Or to learn how to be patient with, in the same way to be able to deal with that situation and be happy and, and when situations are good and also not be full of ourselves in those situations so that we're not uh, that we don't attribute all this stuff we don't have to understand when we're, when we're rising and we're attributing all the things good things in life to ourselves. so um, so God says if, if it's you who did all of this so then I'll leave it to you and then we're, God, we're left to, to fend for ourselves without God's help not because God forbid God doesn't want to help us but because we have chosen the path of, 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 of recognizing only ourself so there, therefore God says you only recognize yourself you only, only you exist so take care of it yourself when you, when you, when, when you ask me for help I'll, I'll, come, I'll come right away that's what a person has to know and uh, may we be zoche may we merit to continue and clarify this so that we can have uh, we can be able to do real repentance and be able to see what God wants us to see and not go and not go and not be able to go nuts because everything is a test on how to how to rise and how to fall and uh, and we're going to see in the future uh, upcoming uh, upcoming sessions on how to do this further enjoy have a beautiful week and look forward to seeing you soon